guys, you are welcome to Jevrel Enterprise. In today's video, we are going to talk about sweet sorghum, scientifically known as sorghum bicolor. It is an annual or short-term perennial plant belonging to the same family, Pausia, as rice wheat and corn there is a great interest in sweet sorghum for promoting resilience in rural livelihoods in africa unlike other crops sweet sorghum is a multi-purpose crop for grains, feed, fodder, chewing, syrup, sugar, and biofuel production, and many more. Sweet sorghum is an alternative crop for sugarcane and hence has a peculiar quality over sugarcane due to its resistance to drought and ability to stand on varieties of soils and environments. In Africa, it is predominantly grown for its stock and grain. Sweet juice are extracted from the stems or stock for production of syrup whereas grains are used as food just like other cereal crops. The average yield of sweet sorghum juice is 2,500 gallons to 3,000 gallons per an acre whereas its average grains yield is 500 kilogram to 700 kilogram per an acre. The tall height variety can grow up to 5 to 6 meters tall, whereas the medium height variety can grow up to 3 to 4 meters tall. To produce sweet sorghum in Ghana, its planting time is considered. This ensures that its harvesting time falls in the dry season. For this reason, its planting is done in May to June, with a planting distance of 15 to 45 centimeters intra and inter rows respectively with about three to four seeds per hole or hill seed rate for planting an acre ranges from 6000 to 8000 seeds this represents a seeding rate of approximately 2.5 pounds to 4.5 pounds per an acre. Please ensure weed free on the farm, else weeds will hinder the yield potential of your sweet sorghum production. Weeds can be controlled by using handhold or selective weedicide for cereal crops. Fertilizer application is often not recommended when it is followed with leguminous crop in the crop rotation cycle. But if any, organic fertilizer is recommended. When you notice tasseling or panicle of the plant, Partial pruning 
could be done to strengthen the stock family and to prevent sap sucking bugs and bees from sucking the sweet juice from the stock, which could lead to low yielding. In Ghana, the only major limitation in sweet sorghum production is the sap sucking bugs and bees. These insects suck the sap through the leaves of the sweet sorghum plant, hence expose them to fungi diseases which turns the leaves from green to brownish in color. If no prevention, this insect can bring loss of about 60 to 80 percent in sweet sorghum production. They decrease the formation of grains and also causes brownish spots in the stock, which could lead to the general destruction of the stock, hence loss of sweet juice. To prevent this insect, kindly spray the sweet sorghum plant with organic insecticide or partial pruning of the leaf. Overall, sweet sorghum takes 120 to 150 days to be fully matured for harvesting. This depends on the sweet sorghum variety used. If planted for their sweet juice purpose, sweet sorghum harvest should be delayed until seeds reach the hard dough stage of development. This appears to be the time of its maximum sugar content. But if for grains purpose, the seeds should be allowed to dry totally on the plant to ensure full maturity of the grains. Please note, the grains of sweet sorghum taste sweeter than the normal sorghum. Hence, do not require too much table sugar when used as porridge, drink, or any other recipe. The harvested sweet sorghum panicles are further dried in the sun for easy threshing. Finally, manual threshing is done and the grains are collected for future use. Thank you very much for watching. Please kindly subscribe to this channel for our subsequent videos. Bye-bye for now.